Now we shall study froth flotation method. Now this method is based on two opposite properties that is hydrophilic and hydrophobic. Hydrophilic means water loving and hydrophobic means water heating. And this froth flotation method is mainly used for sulfide ores. So in this method the metal sulfides are going to be hydrophobic. They will not be attracted towards the water. These are going to be water heating agents. So this will move away from the water and uh, in this ore whichever gangly particles are going to be there whichever impurities are going to be there those are going to be hydrophilic or water loving so this will be easily attracted towards the water and will get weight by the water so let's see how these things take place see this is going to be the entire setup of the froth flotation method in this a tank will be there in this tank the powder ore will be taken so this one is going to be an agitator which will be continuously moving around its axis now in this uh, water will be added and uh, some vegetable oil like the pine oil or the eucalyptus oil or olive oil such kind of oils will be added over here then due to the continuous agitation uh, the bubbles will be created over here and whatever uh, the ore particles are going to be there or the particles of metal sulfides are going to be there those are hydrophobic so these are not going to be attracted towards the water this will not be getting weight by the water but this will get weight by the oil itself and whatever gangue particles were there the impurities are going to be there those are going to be weighed by the water and because of that these are going to be settled down over here and can be removed from this side and whatever uh, particles of the metal sulfides were there or whatever particles of ores are going to be there these are going to be attracted towards the oil itself because these are hydrophobic so these are going to be getting attracted towards the oil and will be getting uh, associated with the bubbles and those are going to become upward along with the froth like this and then these are going to be discarded over here into the form of concentrated sulfide ore so this is how you can separate any uh, metal sulfide ore from its gangue particles so this is how the entire froth flotation process is now this uh, froth flotation process is applicable for the zinc blend that is zinc sulfide or iron pyrites or copper pyrite cufes2 so mainly there should be metallic sulfides present into the ore where such kind of ore uh, or where, where sorry where such kind of method can be applied and this is how you can separate the ore particles from the gangue particles now let's study leaching now in this process um, certain kind of solution will be taken for the reaction of certain metals like aluminium gold and silver and um, particular kind of solution will be taken where the met uh, whatever the metallic ore will be there that is going to be reacting uh, with the solution and will some specific chemical reaction will take place but the gangue particles are going to be unreactive these are not going to dissolve into that solution so this is how we can separate those gangue particles from the metallic ore then uh, the example is given over here that concentration of bauxite bauxite means it is an ore of the aluminium that is al2o3 aluminium oxide or alumina so the concentration of bauxite ore is done by leaching method so here bauxite is going to be soaked into this aqueous solution of sodium hydroxide that is NaOH or aqueous solution of sodium carbonate that is Na2CO3 and then the main ingredients of the ore that means the alumina bauxite means Al2O3 twice H2O alumina means aluminium oxide that is going to be dissolved into the solutions of aqueous NaOH or aqueous Na2CO3 and the gangue particles are not going to be dissolved so this can be easily discarded from the solution so this is how you can concentrate such kind of metallic ores which consist of aluminium gold or silver so this is how this is the meaning of the method uh, this is meaning of the uh, leaching so this is also one of the method by which you can separate the impurities from the metallic ores and rest of the things we shall study in the next video till then have a knowledgeable day thank you